Hi, Jackson. So on Friday, when we talked to you and mom, you said that you really wanted a dinosaur video and you wanted this week to be about dinosaurs. So I printed out some pictures of dinosaurs and I'm gonna show, um, tell you some facts about them. Okay. This, if you know the name, then you can say it out loud. If you don't, I'm gonna say it. This is a Velociraptor. A Velociraptor is the size of a turkey, so it's small, and it's very skinny. It also had feathers, and it was a meat eater. Another name for a meat eater is a carnivore. It had a large brain, and it was very, very fast. The Velociraptor liked living in hot weather, and it walked on two legs. See? These legs he's leaning on, and these legs he has up like this. So that's the Velociraptor. This is a, do you know what it is? It's called a plesiosaur. It's a dinosaur that lived underwater. However, it can't breathe underwater, so it had to come up to the surface to get air through a little hole that it had. The plesiosaur had a very long neck and a round body, and it had little flippers see them? It had flippers that helped them paddle through the water. The plesiosaur had very, very sharp teeth, and it ate fish and other sea animals. So the plesiosaur was also a carnivore. Do you know what this dinosaur is? It's a pterodactyl. Pterodactyls were flying dinosaurs. They had small bodies, but huge wings. The wings were very, very long. Their bodies were covered with little hairs to keep them warm. They had a long beak, but didn't have any feathers like birds do. And they were also carnivores. They also ate meat. Ooh, what's this one? This one is a Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus could live on land and in water, kind of like an alligator. It had a big bump on its back, see it? Big bump on its back to scare away other dinosaurs. It was a carnivore and it mostly ate fish. The Spinosaurus had short legs and it was as big as a T-Rex, so it was big. And it most likely walked on two legs. So that's a Spinosaurus. This one is called an Apatosaurus. This dinosaur was huge. Just their neck was as big as two school buses. That's a really long neck. And Apatos Apatosaurus were herbivores. Herbivores means that they ate plants only. It had a very long neck and a very long tail. It also had a small head and a small brain, so they weren't very smart animals. Also, the Apatosaurus had nostrils on the top of its head. Do you know what nostrils are? Nostrils are these holes under your nose right here. And we have them on our face, but the Apatosaurus had them above its head. It, Apatosaurus are so big that it takes 10 years to grow full size. They, are as they were as big as five elephants put together. That's really, really big. You know what this one is? It's a Stegosaurus. And the Stegosaurus was the size of a bus, so that's pretty big. These little plates and bumps on its back um, and the spikes on its tail helped it to protect them. See the spikes? They had a small head and a small brain. It can't run very fast. It was a plant eater, a herbivore, and its brain was very small. It was only about this big. So the dinosaur is as big as a school bus, but its brain was only about that big. Do you know what this one is? I think you might know what this one is. It's a Triceratops. 
Triceratops had three horns on top of its head because it protected them from bigger dinosaurs like the T-Rex. It was a plant eater and it had 800 teeth. Can you believe it? That is a lot of teeth. And most Triceratops liked to live alone. They didn't like to travel or live with a lot of other Triceratops. I'm sure you know this one. You say this one's your favorite. It's a Brachiosaurus. They are plant eaters, herbivores. They have a really long neck. And do you know why they have a long neck? It's because they can reach all the way up to trees and eat the leaves because that was their favorite food. They are one of the tallest dinosaurs that existed. They live and they used to live until they were a hundred. That's really old. Their back legs were shorter, I'm sorry, were longer than their front legs. And these dinosaurs were the length of three school buses. That's really, really long. And I think you know what this one is. It's a T-Rex. A T-Rex walks and runs on two legs and it has very, very short arms. Just its head is taller than you. Just its head is taller than you. Even though a T-Rex is very big, scientists found they are actually similar to birds in some ways. In fact, their babies may have even been covered in feathers. T-Rex are carnivores and they like to eat other dinosaurs and other small animals. And their teeth were this long. Just their teeth were this long. Those are all the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs don't live on Earth anymore. They lived a long time ago before they were born. But I really like dinosaurs and I know you do too. And I hope you liked this video. Bye!